Test. Dealer motor build, take one. All right, Dilo's a local uh, stunt rider that we do a lot of stuff with, and he's mentioned about possibly wanting some additional power and a different setup on his motor. He just pulled up, so let's go see what we got going on. My man. What's up, buddy? What's up, dog? How you doing? I'm good, man. Ready to take care of this fucking- You got it? I, yeah, I got it, but it's, it's, so much needs some, she needs some power. There's raw power. <laughs> and it might be about half blown up already, I don't know. That's how Mitch is tired, I know that. She's tired. Ready for a heart transplant, man. She needs some love. So we're gonna do a big bore, a 95? Yep, short stroke, like a little short stroke 95. I think that's all it needs. That's all I need for what I do. Cool. I mean, I think uh, anything more than that's probably gonna be too much. Check out the carburetor. I think it, uh, I don't know what's going on, man. It's just, I always have to mess with the idle screw as it warms up, but it's, it's never been tuned. I don't know, I feel like, I feel like it's always, just gave me a little bit of issues, but I've never had it tuned or anything. It's just a stock 88. I did all the goodies on it, but I never, I didn't do anything with the motor. All right. So that's, it's time to do it, you know? Well, let's go in and talk. Yeah. He's pretty donuts. Mm-hmm. I gotta get ready for the shot. Well, I'm trying to, I I'm trying to. did. I'm trying to build an image, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's the plan with this, individuality. Well, part of your image right now is you've got to turn and look at the camera. You got to, here, let me, let me fix this for you. This, that's not one of your dreads, but it was still. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone, my I kind of talked about Jamie, <clears throat> to Jamie about this, and I think we're just going to do a, a whole flywheel for you instead of pinning yours. Perfect. So I'm just going to replace yours. Perfect. Yep. Dick, 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 dick. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do a 551 cam. Uh, primary, we're gonna do a tensioner. Uh, you've already got exhaust. We don't wanna change that, you're just gonna beat it up again. We're gonna do a Dynatech ignition so yep. we can program the ignition. That'll yep. help a lot. Yep, yep. Mm -mm. And new clutch. Mm -mm. I think yep, I told Jamie. Clutch. We're gonna do that. The torque drive clutch. Yep. We're gonna do new valve springs, cylinders, pistons, a 551 cam. Cause that, that'll give you really good right off the line and mid-range especially when you couple it with a, with a faster throttle response. Perfect. And, and you can tune it in with that same carburetor I have. Yep. The Makuni um, yeah, 42 awesome. is perfect. Yep, awesome. Perfect. And I know that, the, you know, don't get it twisted just because they always build in mates. Twin cams still rock. And they're about to show you with this twin cam that they're about to build for me. And we all own them. Yeah. We all own twin cams. Right. Bring a pocket full of cash. Have and hey, come here, Brandon. This is what happens when you don't bring cash. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. I need to be able to hold the rev limit. I want to set the rev limiter a little lower than like a race guy. We're probably going to set my tuner or the Dynatech ignition module probably around 5,500. I want to be able to hold the rev limiter for the crowd out here. When we're doing shows at the, at the dealership, I want to be able to hold the rev limiter and not blow it up. Cool. That's what I want to do. Right, like I mean, of course, I'm not going to sit there and do it for five minutes, but I want to be able to do it for a little. Bah, 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 bah. That's what we need. Okay, we'll do Let's it. Let's do it. I'm ready. I'm stoked. So we got the bike back on the lift now. We are gonna punch it out to a 95. We've got the pistons and cylinders. We're doing high comp pistons. We've got the heads cleaned up, new springs, running a fueling uh, pump and, and cam plate and tensioner systems. Brought it, got the uh, SNS 551 cam. That'll help a lot with the mid-range torque, which is right where you need all the power for doing wheelies. We're gonna couple that because it's a carbureted bike with a single fire twin tech ignition and an adjustable uh, ignition setup so that we can dial it in and get his rev limiter and his advanced timing correct. Come here, check this out. We had the motor, sent the dork out, dark horse. It's got a man of war fly, flywheel and Carrillo rods. Ready to go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and install the primary and then we'll talk about what we did over there. I'll be right back. Yeah. Uh, hello, you're back. Because of the beastly nature of D'Lo and his superior skills 
on this magnificent machine. We installed a Hayden tensioner. Now the next thing I'm gonna show you is some cool stuff over on the campsite. I like to farm them aminals and I like to farm away. <laughs> Hold it like this. Oh, yeah. It's definitely has some China. I got the blue little catch up there. China vibes. These are a must have if you feel like getting them. They're not necessary, but they, they are cool. All right, the cool thing about the second one is it goes on this fast. Ah. I should have snapped my fingers the first time. There we go. Like the gentle breeze. All right, you know, spin them a few times. I'm on the outside, I'm looking in. If you're on the outside, of course you're looking in. You're not looking out, you're already on the outside. You guys haven't met Milton yet, have you? Hmm? Sid joined us from New York City. I always want to say Brooklyn, but you were in Queens, right? Yeah. You lived in Queens. There isn't? You, you, well, why do you get all mad at me then? We're like, I well, never live in Brooklyn. Like, oh. And the Mets are from Queens, okay? You know, New York would probably be a better place if you liked teams that were good. Instead of like going, yeah, but I'm from, I'm from Queens, so I like the Mets even if they suck. Well, why don't you just like say, you know what? If they keep sucking, we're going to stop paying them to be our team. To say that a Major League Baseball team doesn't have money is kind of like saying the sky is only blue when it's dark. Wait till tomorrow. So as we mentioned before, we didn't really port the heads. We just cleaned them up, put new valves and springs. We're doing a 550 lift cam in, in this uh, older setup. It's good to just get some, some better springs to be able to handle the lift. You know, the, uh, the stock springs for the first generation of twin cams, you know, they weren't designed for much over a 510 or a 520 lift. So because we want to make sure that we get a lot of mid-range power without getting so much power that it's uncontrollable on, on the, the throttle, we left the stock porting of the heads and just increased the, the compression on the cylinders, on the pistons. We just increased the I want some coffee. That's better. Now, as I was saying before, we increase the compression on the pistons, but we don't necessarily want to have a massive flow increase because we still want to use this uh, <clears throat> mid-range torque cam so that he's got a lot of mid-range power without moving a lot of it to the top end and making it so whenever time he flicks the throttle, it wants to come up over itself. So as you'll see, you know, it's still the stock port design. We just cleaned them up, put new better valves, guides, and uh, springs, along with our beautimous high compression pistons. Beautimous. Jamie was supposed to be in this video, but I guess he's getting his beard shaped or something. So here, I'm gonna put the heads on right now. Okay. Ah. Whew. I'm tired after all that torquing. I gotta take a break now. What are you laughing at, Milton? Hey, Milton. Milton, what's up? Just pass the cake. Okay. <laughs> Last time I didn't get a piece. <laughs> Here's the nice thing though, when you have glasses like that, you've always you're always prepped for wilderness survival because you can start fires anywhere. All you need is sun. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Look at the light. Yeah. Just boom. So we put in the easy start cams. It just works off of gravity and centrifugal force. Uh, they make starting some of these higher compression motors without electronic uh, compression releases. Very much bueno. Very bueno. Very bueno on your starter motor. So those are installed. We've got it spaced out. We're getting ready to wrap that up on this beautiful fueling race plate. 
Now this is one of those uh, oldie but goodies. So it actually has a cam time sensor. It's got a Hall Effect sensor that runs on this groove. They don't make them all cool like this anymore. Now they make everything all fangled. 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 So we'll be back when we get all this in and do the, the, uh, the lifters. And then we are going to jet the carburetor. Start this baby up. I so guess. here he comes. Hey, let's show him walking in. Can we do something weird to his face when he's on the film, like when he walks in, like like do those TikTok eyes or something? Can you oh, do yeah. that? Google you can, yeah? Come on in, D-Lo. If this was MTV Cribs, it'd be like the unveil, or, or was Dude, that Pit My Ride, whatever. I'll tell you what. To say I'm excited to get it back would be an understatement. We didn't do anything to it. <laughs> yeah, right. We left it the same. I mean, it looks the same. It I does. Mean, it don't run the same. It does not run the same. Let's go. <laughs> well, so you're probably going to have to like do a burnout first, yeah, when right? Do I, when do I? Yeah. When, now I'm just itching to, to just let her eat one time. All right, let's do it. This is a this is a very no one realizes this, but the aerodynamics gained off of polishing your helmet before you wear it is second only to well, the amount of see, torque gains he's received in his engine. If I can't see out to some, well. Gonna make it, gonna make it, gonna make it. What's wrong? Gonna make it, gonna make it. Remember that from Three Amigos? The button broke. Hurry up, man, I can't hold it forever. You're really holding it? Yeah, oh. holding it. Man, my, come on, my arms are getting tired. Yeah, right. Shaking. That's a steel door, buddy. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Oh, oh <laughs> I caught you. Now I, now I know better. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think he's going to send it. Tire's pretty slick. Hi, welcome to Moonshine. <laughs> No problem rolling the tire anymore. <laughs> <laughs> wow, dude. <laughs> this is the first Harley I've ever had that's actually uh, got power now. Right. So, uh, damn, bro, look at my adrenaline. I'm shaking, dog. Woo! It's got a lot of power. I can't wait to dial it in and get used to it. Let's go. Man, dude, huge moonshine uh, for, for, for doing this, um, working with me on this build. Um, look, check it out, you guys. If you want to if you want to get a powerful bike belt and you don't want to worry about it tearing up on you, breaking down, whatever, MHP is the place to be, let me tell you. And uh, like I said, huge thanks to Jamie, huge thanks to Mike all the guys for um, putting this one together for me. Um, and I don't know what else to say. Thank you guys, I appreciate it. Yeah.